through working with a lot of my counterparts at other investment banks uh, through industry bodies like AFMA. Um, it's been great to, uh, uh, to, to not only put something back into the industry, but to also share and, and, uh, uh, and help develop uh, values which I think are pretty common amongst nearly all of the investment banks and certainly amongst the individuals who, uh, who manage them. I saw it as an opportunity both to um, further participate in the way in which the industry conducts itself and an opportunity to, I think, put some more meaningful uh, substance around what we all believe we, we live and, uh, and work by in any event. There were a number of meetings, a very healthy debate amongst um, some senior peers. Uh, at which we discuss what was the best way to both underpin the principles by which we all, as I said, we all uh, work and operate by, and then secondly, what the best mechanism was to represent those uh, to the broader industry and to broader stakeholders, um, whether it's the client base, whether it's regulators, so on and so forth. And uh, through those iterations, we settled on an oath uh, and 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 one that and then spent a lot of time around the wording and how we would um, ma how those those words would manifest the intent by which we all, as I said, believed we worked and wanted to send the message as to how everybody else does work or should work. I would hope that we could develop a culture in our industry whereby the oath means something to people and they remember it as they conduct themselves in their daily work. And it's not meant to, to, to restrict people's competitiveness, it's not meant to restrict that people's entrepreneurial behaviour, it's meant to give them a framework and a set of words around which they should be behaving in any event, uh, but around which they can actually have some clarity as to what that behaviour means in terms of a set of words.